Hey guys. Well, basically, this is not for you guys. Unless you really like my channel and really want to watch this video, go ahead. But this video is really for that one YouTube channel I like. And it's called Courtney, or also known as Project S&T for some reason. Fan character means, ha. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, I noticed Courtney has been doing some interesting things with our channel. You might as well say, oh, the, no, C Courtney hasn't done any, you know, dueling stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh. Man, that was a great show, wasn't it? Wasn't it? But no, no, it's not. I mean, it, it, Yu Gi Oh is a great show. Anyways, this this isn't a fan character. It's in, or I mean, Courtney. Sorry, Courtney. This is my own original character, which is not from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. It's from my own. Series. You see, I've been I've been coming up trying to find the perfect video game character who would also have a cartoon series for me. And I was thinking of it. Well, I'll give you the backstory if you haven't known. You see, I first I started working on this so-called hunter character. He looked a lot different from the one before I changed to another unused character which was supposed to be one of my old older older one one of these. Here's the backstory. You see I'm named Hunter. I came up with this character named Hunter which is basically has which basically has the same name as me. He was supposed to have a Sonic shirt, and his eye lines, well, not his actual eyes himself, are supposed to represent Sonic's. Since I'm a big fan of Sonic, eventually I gave up on the idea and decided to rem to give to remove that part of the eyes, but give it, but add an interesting art style, which is not the poly art style I'm using. This art style consisted of consisted of giving Hunter a reverse a color reverse Ben 10 shirt. Yes. And he was supposed to have be able to to copy powers or something. I eventually I gave up on the idea and decided to have me have all the powers that I can get. Which, basically, I also gave up on the idea, but might have had, had a Danny Phantom ripoff kind of like shirt or something. You probably know what, gang. I don't like Nickelodeon anymore. I don't want any reminders of it. Especially when I reminded myself of Danny Phantom on the Oh my god, the art style is not good, but I'd say people like the show. It's just my own opinion, and everyone has to deal with it. Anyways, then I came up with this. Then I started using the adventure art style, because I was thinking it could be great times. Or I decided to return the shirt, you know, the Sonic shirt that I had early that the character had early on and I was supposed to have some like, some kind of punching abilities. Eventually that turned into a another character. Eventually I decided to go back to the old art style with the same character design and started calling him Hunter the Hero. Now the second 
Now the third iteration with the Danny Phantom ripoff one was called Hunter the Ultimate Hero. So Hunter the Hero fit best. But but after that I decided to go with the character with the alien guitar thing that was supposed to be a prototype of these of Sonic's guitar from Sonic Underground cause cause I like Deke's art. I like their work. Okay? Courtney, here's why. So, here's the early in development stuff for Stick Drew. He, he was originally a stick figure, which had, an, which came from, came from Whiteboard Land or something. And, Robotnik's trying to take over it. So me, me and Sonic tried to stop, stop it. Eventually, I gave up on the stick figure art style and decided to go with a better art style, which is supposed to be identical to the Sonic art style possibly used today. I don't know, blah blah blah, but not CGI, blah blah blah. The cut hard thing is there. But I was thinking there was some kind of transformation thing. Like when it's about to fight, when I'm, like when Citro is about to fight, he goes ahead and transforms. Just like when Yugi is about to duel with someone, he transforms into, into a much older looking self. Yeah. I was going on with that. But eventually I decided to go with Polly Runner and basically you all know what's there. He's supposed to have besides Courtney, here's some attacks here you you, know, you can know about him. He's supposed to be an a unique mix of Mega Man and Sonic. Cause why not? He's those characters are really popular, so here's something you can learn about him. You see, Bolly Runner has unique abilities. You see, he has these things called running attacks, which are basically attacks he uses against his enemies with by running. He runs and and gets a couple of and hurts and basically basically attacks the attacks the enemy he can also have some magic powers that are similar to Mega Man's Mega Buster in possibly every single Mega Man game with the charge shot and uh, with the Mega Buster so he can basically shoot Shoot some magic stuff and charge it up and bam. But he doesn't have that, you know, spin dash ability. Yeah, Mega Man. Bam. Yeah. He can also copy other abilities to use. He can also copy other people's abilities to use them. And he has a unique transformation sequence. Possibly, you see this peace symbol right here? This is supposed to be for Polly Runner. Here's how it works. You see, every time Polly Runner transforms, he's supposed to, you know, get. He's supposed to actually. The symbol is supposed to change to to the character's ability he's using symbol, which means if he uses these, he if he uses Sonic. Ability, he can use that symbol. I'm also working on a spin-off series of more, more of a dark tone. It's called, Paul. Well, the main title of the thing is called Poly World, but Poly World HD, which it's supposed to have a story where Poly Runner himself has changed quite a lot, a lot. Like he isn't less pointy and more roundish. Just like more 3D models. They're less pointy and more roundish. Yeah. That's it. 
Besides, I, I found it more. I found this more charming. Do you think, Courtney? Let's see if you can iterate this to a Sonic character, because I, I don't think I can. Besides having him with Sonic's ability. So I will see you later, whatever. Bye.